Oh, there it is. Let's... Oh, right. right there. piece of iron. <laughs> All right, just dug up this little guy. I said two inches. Oops. Two inches. Oh. They're right in here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, yep, I feel it. That's it. That is a penny. <laughs> Yay, I got yourself a penny. All right. All right, about uh, six inches down. All right, let's peel this back. Uh, Bent token, I think. Yeah, looks like a bent token. Okay, this may be the last one I do today. It's right in there somewhere. And yes, I need a much better trowel. <laughs> I gotta dig something like what International Stacker has. Bought one of those really nice ones. I think I see it. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a really great reading. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but that sure doesn't look like a coin to me. Yeah, so there it is. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna dig that out. Looks like a, a can of some sort. Yeah, maybe this is the last time. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, cute. It's a little... <laughs> yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right, I'm back. So let's take a look at this collection of um, junk. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, I have uh, a few lessons learned from this uh, first real excursion. Uh, not counting the little uh, beach uh, one that I had with little stacks. So let's take a look at the, the, the real junk first. Yeah. Okay. So lesson number one. Be patient, <laughs> Yankee, when it comes to uh, going for the right tones here. So, uh, yeah, what the heck? <sighs> I, I wasn't as patient. I, I, I got excited, you know, you, you see 60s and 70s and you think, oh, I gotta find out what's in there. Yeah, be patient. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, lesson number one. Lesson number two. Oh, my word. What the? What was I thinking? All right, le lesson number two is get a real trowel or whatever they call it for metal detecting. I mean, really? Do you know how frustrating this thing was? I mean, come on. Ugh. Really? Jeez. I don't even know what, the, there's probably a special name. If there's a special name for the, the, the trowel thing you use for, for metal detecting, let me know. It, it's kind of cool. It has a handle and it like goes this way and then down. I don't know. <laughs> so that's lesson number two. All right, I'm just gonna dump the rest of this out. Okay. So, so this is a, a token with no monetary value whatsoever. <laughs> no cash value, it says. Nice. Um, yeah, that's metal. Okay, I uh, definitely helped clean up the schoolyard. All right, so I got a nickel. Uh, let's see what the date is on that. I can read it. It is a 1991. Okay, <laughs> a nickel. And then three pennies. It's a 2006 D. A 2089, okay, and 1981. I made a sum total of eight cents. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and the last thing was the ring. No, it's not silver. Oh, isn't that cute? And it's got little stars on it. <laughs> and, and some keys to some little kid's diary or something. So that brings me to lesson number three. Uh, maybe not choose an elementary school, uh, you know, playground to metal detect, whatever. Uh, however, I will say that when I was a kid, you know, many decades ago and I went metal detecting with my dad I did find a ring at a elementary school right next to the stairs I'll never forget it in fact hold on uh, yep here it is that mm. 10k gold ring 
with a pretty pretty decent stone actually I don't know if that's a Trojan or Spartan you know, an elementary school can potentially give you something nice but I think I need to find a better spot so I mean even a high school playing around or well high school uh, you know uh, athletic field or something so anyway so that's <laughs> that's my first attempt at uh, metal detecting thank you so much for watching Yankee stacking and I hope your day is a-okay